It began with Nick challenging himself to start an online business with under 5,000 Rand capital and to be selling an actual product in just six weeks. Nick. Nick, what an incredible name. You must be Greek. Uh, I'm a little bit, yes. Oh, really? Yeah, really. Well, I must say, the first thing I saw was your socks. Love it. Thank you very much. These are our flagship sock. They're called the Barbershop Sock, and they're our biggest seller. You give them names? Yes, we name all of our socks. We're really passionate about making a character out of each. What's happening down in Sockland uh, on your feet over there? Mine are called um, Nico Wesson because it gets really cold in winter socks, and they're not really very pretty. Do you want to see? I'd love to. I imagine they're quite gray. Yes. It's a little embarrassing. No, fair enough. We're going to have to sock you up at some point through the day. Yes, that would be fantastic. Their bamboo fiber is soft, versatile, has antibacterial qualities, is sustainably grown and keeps feet drier than most other fabrics. So our socks are made from bamboo and the reason we chose bamboo is because we were going for something as good as cashmere but not as expensive and bamboo is kind of an in-between between cotton and cashmere and it was a good choice for our brand. The way the bamboo is made is actually quite an interesting process. It's a process of distillation and bleaching where the bamboo wood and leaves are crushed into small parts that are then pushed and steeped into a chemical process that makes them a pulp. And that pulp allows the fibers to break apart and be created into a yarn. And once that yarn is made, they can be bleached into all the magical colors that make our socks. This is our baby sock. You see they're making a little baby sock, which is pretty cool. Yeah, little feet, little babies. A graduate in journalism and politics, Nick's new business meant re-educating himself entirely. These are older machines, they're about 60 years old. It takes, I think, about 10 minutes to make a sock. Ten and the, the cool thing is you can actually see the socks as they pop out here. So once the socks are knitted, they come here to have the toes sealed so that your feet don't shoot through, and then they move on to the next phase. Producing designs by artists like Daniel Ting Chong and Lazi Matebula, Nick's helping artists reach a global audience in a unique way. This is where they shape and steam the socks. What an interesting industry to find yourself in. How did it happen? Yeah, so in 2012 I sold my business that I was in. and I'd been wearing very bright socks for a while, but the quality was kind of average and I didn't really like what they felt like in the designs. So I thought, I'm sure I can do this better. And I found this factory and we started making socks. Why socks? When you sit down at a boardroom table and you don't want to be too loud and boisterous, but you cross your legs, people see that you have a little bit of flair and I'd been doing it for a while, so I just decided that it was a thing, and now it is. You can tell a lot about a man from looking at his socks. Yes, you can, if you can get a look at his socks. Home is where the art is. So this is the creative center of NickSocks.com. Being an e-commerce business with a real product, we make socks, we bring them here, we package them, we ship them, and we actually distribute to over 20 countries in the world. His goal is to have a business in the league of British-based designer and entrepreneur Paul Smith with his massive online empire. Considering what Nick's achieved in just two years, he's a shoe in to make it. Definitely a niche market that you've delved into, which takes a lot of confidence. What drives you? Over the past 10 years, I've started almost 10 businesses, nine of which have failed and one has succeeded, which means I'm really good at failure. But that's the truth of business, is you have to fail a lot before you learn how to succeed. Um, and now here I am with Nick Socks. You say you don't consider yourself an artist, but it takes a lot of creativity to have done what you've done. Does it run in the family? Definitely doesn't run in the family. I've always had a drive to kind of stand out a little. So at 15, I got my first tattoo which was very no-no at a Catholic school uh, and it didn't stop there with the creative juices so I started a lot of businesses and design socks. What's next? From here we are going to focus quite heavily on growing our product range uh, for the business and focused on corporate and custom socks but on a personal level I've had a William Kentridge tattoo on the inside of my arm for a few years so one of the goals is to get William Kentridge to make a pair of artistic socks and put his art on people's feet around the world. Um, so hopefully we can make that happen sometime soon. At the moment I'm really having fun adding style to men's options and increasing the limited range of accessories that men have at their disposal. And I like to dress men from the ground up, which reminds me we still need to add some style to your feet. And I think we've got something for you right here. Oh, come on now, that is, wow. I, mean, I haven't received socks for many, many years. Something for every emotion one might have in the week. This of course is a little more sophisticated, a little sophisticated fun. <laughs> going out again, we're going dancing, we're going dancing, we might shop a little. This, this is 
I'm going to the beach because it's winter, but you can still go to the beach even in winter. And then this is, we're going we're gonna to party, man. You can finally give yourself the gift of socks. I'm never, ever going to take these off again. This is, thank you. Nick, really, this is... An absolute pleasure. Entrepreneurs take heart. If at first you don't succeed, try and try again. It's working for Nick's socks.